right, guys. So we are here at Manly. Everyone knows Manly for their famous Varimu and also their massive passive equalizer, which is so awesome. Can you explain what is the mo new move? That is something, something new. Explain what it is. Hi, I'm Ivana Manley from Manly Labs. The Variable Mew, as you know, is a classic product we've been producing since 1994. It's the king of the two bus. You see it all over the place. It really makes your whole mix sound very cohesive and like a real record. That's what it's famous for. Um, last uh, Two years ago, we decided to develop kind of a baby brother to the Variable Mew, but make it a different sound. It's a kind of like a cleaner version of the Variable Mew because we use the front end of the T-Bar the mod, which is a special version of the Variable Mew with the pentodes wired as triodes. They replicate the curves and characteristics of the original 6386 tubes. That's the whole purpose of this special T-Bar mod. So the new Mew has the T-Bar mod built in as standard. And then after that, we go into high voltage, discrete, and FET electronics. And also importantly, there are no output transformers. So it's, it's very much a cleaner and faster sound. It has less of a big character than compared to the variable mu. If, if you think back to digital in the 90s, when the variable mu came out, digital was very harsh and in your face and you needed the big color to tame it down. These days it's a very different story and especially with like EDM music and electronic music, you might not want to make a big imprint on your sound. So the new Mew does not replace the variable Mew, but you can use it for different musical styles. Sounds really incredible. Now, um, we, if you go over to this microphone, so you have any new models, because that one I already know, but this one, for example, um, are th is there anything new about these microphones? Or Well, we started building these microphones, the reference cardioid mic and the reference gold microphones. We started building those in 1990, long time ago. Our best-selling product today out of all of our range is the Manly Reference Cardioid Mic, and it's a favorite for vocals, for pop vocals. It's very famous for that. Uh, Manly Reference Gold Microphone is your more pristine audiophile sounding microphone. It's multi-pattern. It's uh, It kind of hears a little bit like your ears do, you know? David Josephson makes the Manly Reference Gold Capsule. It's a CK12 style capsule, a dual sided diaphragm, edge tensioned, and again, very pristine sounding. After many years, it's like, hey, we haven't come out with a new microphone in a long time. I remember that David Josephson also makes a Sony C37 type capsule, this one. So he sent us one, and we started playing with it. It's like, wow, that's a whole different sound. This is going to be a great idea. So we came up with this new microphone called the Manly Reference Silver Microphone based on that Sony capsule. The electronics in this one are different from the other two microphones. We actually use an FVT on the bottom in a, in a cas cascoded fashion as a constant current source. So it's very quiet, actually. It's a little quieter in internal circuitry. We also embrace a new power supply design that you see in, in our rack units, we've used a scaled down version for the silver microphone and it'll work in voltages all over the world. It's a brand new switching power supply, a very special one made for us and made for vacuum tubes. So this silver mic has this awesome, rich and creamy character. It's great with guitar cabinets, with a lot of vocals. It's good in uh, drum overheads where maybe you have a very hot cymbal that the top frequency is just ripping your head off. You want to just tame it down a little bit. This has a beautiful, beautiful middle character to it. So check it out. Very nice. Thank you very much for the interview.